Good day, folks, and welcome to review number 55. Today we're going to take a look at a figure that has unfortunately seemed to become a Takara Tomy exclusive. It's the Transformers Prime Arms Micron 12 War Breakdown. So, starting off looking at the packaging, we see that uh, Arms Micron Breakdown is packaged in a similar packaging to what you see in the domestic uh, Robots in Disguise line uh, with a very similar color scheme here. Uh, you've also got the uh, lightning uh, backdrop here. Uh, of course, here in the lower right corner, you've got a uh, CGI image of breakdown in his vehicle mode. Uh, and you've got the large clear window displaying the figure in robot mode. Uh, you also have a little bit uh, of photography down here showing the ARMS Micron figure, which comes with the Japanese releases of the Prime figures. The back side of the packaging features a large image of the figure in robot mode with uh, all his weaponry here. Uh, you also have a uh, some photography of the figure in vehicle mode, uh, along with the arms micron figure here. And then uh, down here you have some images of the figures unstickered, uh, along with the sticker sheet. The left side of the packaging has some additional photography showing the arms micron figure and how it turns into Breakdown's hammer. And then on the right side of the packaging, you've got kind of a, an interesting, uh, I, I found this interesting, that the it's a photography of the figure transforming into the vehicle mode, so you get this kind of intermediate figure. Uh, you also have the tech specs down on the bottom. So here we have Breakdown in his robot mode. And uh, he is very... Uh, very accurate to the the show model. Uh, uh, he's just a great looking figure. Uh, now, as far as articulation goes, um, he's got a very well articulated head. He's got a lot of movement in that head. Um, got multi jointed shoulders, elbows. Uh, no wrist swivel though, um, which may or may not be a problem. Uh, he's got a uh, waist swivel, ball jointed hips, knees, and a little bit of ankle articulation here. Um, but uh, overall he's a fairly well articulated figure. One of the best looking features of this figure is uh, this this head sculpt. And uh, not not just the sculpt, but the uh, the paint job they did on it as well. Um, it's it's just a fantastic representation of breakdown, and uh, they they really nailed the look of the character with this head sculpt, and uh, and the paint apps. You know, a lot of times we've seen, especially with the uh, pred line, the uh, paint job on the faces tends to be uh, mediocre at best uh, with a lot of uh, blotchiness it seems at least on the figures I've gotten um, and with this armed micron figure the, they just really did an awesome job with the actual quality of the paint job as well now speaking of paint apps um, if you look at the figure uh, other than that beautiful job they did on the the head sculpt there really aren't any other paint apps on this figure and uh, that's because if you're if you're not familiar with the arms micron line uh, part of the gimmick of the line is the return of stickers and there's a, a lot of sticker apps for this figure um, one thing I plan on doing, um, rather than applying stickers, because I am not a big fan of stickers, except for maybe like faction symbols, um, I intend on painting uh, a lot of the applications on this figure. Uh, so I'll probably give a, give an update through uh, one of the uh, one of my quick look videos later once I get the paint applied. Um, 
I do plan on uh, applying some of the stickers here to the arms micron figure that uh, that comes with breakdown but uh, otherwise I think I'm going to stick with paint apps going along with the theme of stickering your own figure um, the micron figure that comes with breakdown uh, comes unassembled and still on the sprue so uh, part, part of the whole arms micron gimmick is to kind of build and customize your own figure I guess and uh, along that lines the mi micron is almost kind of your own little model kit here um, it's it's not too complicated you know not too many parts here easy to uh, snap together um, but it, it's <laughs> it's it's a little different line of thought than uh, we've seen with most other transformer figures in the past here we have the arms micron figure fully assembled here and stickered up and uh, he's a little little rhino dude and uh, not a not a whole lot to him but uh, he does transform very simply into breakdowns hammer so it's uh I'm I'm glad they actually went with a hammer because that is the weapon breakdown is known for um, and it's yeah, it, well, you can't go wrong with a hammer, really. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, not a bad little figure. So let's check out Breakdown's transformation. Breakdown has one of the best Voyager class transformations that we've seen from the Transformers Prime line yet. The only figure that really competes when it comes to transformation is, ironically, first edition bulkhead. The transformation is complex enough to be interesting, but it remains intuitive enough that after one or two transformations, you can go back and forth between the robot and vehicle modes pretty quickly. Everything tabs together nicely, so you don't really have any guesswork about where this part or that part ends up. There are only two minor gripes that I have, which really can probably be isolated to my figure. First off, the elbow joints are very tight, and as a result, it can be difficult to bend his arms backwards when going from robot to vehicle. Second, the side panels of the truck that end up becoming the inner part of his lower legs are very loose and they can pop out of that hinge joint pretty easily. In fact, I've had to pop them back into place several times already. However, that is it. Aside from these two nitpicks, this is really a great transformation process. So here is Breakdown in his vehicle mode. And uh, the vehicle mode... Uh, mold wise anyway is very accurate to the show model again uh, there's a lot of molded detail on on the uh, vehicle mode but unfortunately just like the uh, robot mode there are not many paint apps on here about the only thing that's really painted is you've got some silver on the grill silver on the uh, rearview mirrors and that's about it as far as paint apps on this vehicle. Um, again, though, you've got the sticker sheet, so there's um, sticker applications you can put on to take care of a lot of the details like that, but uh, again, I'm going to paint those details on, so uh, I will provide an update once I do get this painted. But, um, yeah, um, one other thing of note with the vehicle mode, too. Um, one thing that the ARMS Micron line has uh, been, become known for is the ports to attach the Microns. Um, 
so you um and if you look at this <laughs> this mold uh they've put ports everywhere and you've got at least three ports on each side you've got i think four ports on the top you've got a, a, a couple ports here on the back um so there are places you could load this guy up with microns if you wanted to um and unfortunately they do kind of they do kind of take away from the look of the vehicle, but uh, these aren't as bad as some of them I've seen. Some of the other arms microns that I've seen pictures of, uh, the ports just really distract from the vehicle mode. And I think with a truck like this, it, it helps hide them a little bit. But overall, I'm very pleased with the vehicle mode. When it comes to what I want to see from a Voyager class transformer, arms micron breakdown is a great example. Both his robot and vehicle modes have great show accuracy, and his transformation is interesting and fun. If it weren't for the lack of paint apps and a few minor complaints, he'd be close to the top for one of my favorite toys this year. It really is a shame that Hasbro has made the decision to not release this figure at North American retail. With the addition of Hasbro paint apps, this figure could have had the potential to be one of the best Transformers on the shelf this Christmas season. I guess we'll have to wait for next year.